on behalf of Loyola University of Chicago and the Office of Free Health Advising. We're delighted that you're interested in attending Loyola. Before we begin the presentation, we'd like to offer thoughts and prayers to the healthcare providers around this country and around the world. And I'll also offer our thoughts and prayers to all those struggling with illness, injury, and hardship at this time. This presentation is gonna summarize the unique educational advising and experiential opportunities that are afforded to Loyola pre-health students. When thinking about beginning your college career as a pre-health student, it's very similar to about thinking about beginning your college career in general. Being a successful pre-health profession student is quite similar to making the most of the college experience. So our advice, or some pieces of our, our advice, get involved with student organizations. We have over 200 student organizations on campus, over 10 of which are pre-health specific. Engage in your Unit 101 class. Your peer advisor and your instructor were handpicked due to their expertise in working with first year students and their knowledge of Loyola. Attend a pre-health career services workshop, The More You Know. It provides an outstanding foundation in which to engage in the pre-health experience at Loyola. By all means, come by the pre-health advising office. We're busy, but come to drop-ins, schedule an appointment, just come in to say hi, we'd love to see you. In spring term of your freshman year, think about taking Unit 102, exploring the health professions. It's a class designed for exploring a wide range of health professions and going deep into the health profession of your interest. And explore Chicago. Do so sensibly, but explore Chicago. It, will, it is one of the most magnificent cities in the country. Its riches extend from cultural to culinary to some of the most advanced healthcare institutions in the world. Okay, so what's the best major for being pre-health? Probably know the answer, there is not one. Your major really doesn't have an effect on your admissions decision to med school, dental school, et cetera. It is important to know, however, that each health profession, medicine, pharmacy, dentistry, et cetera, typically has a general set of courses that they want students to take. So the pre-medical courses are, are relatively similar from school to school to school with some variation. The same for pharmacy, pretty, pretty much similar from school to school to school with some variation. But when we compare medicine, the requirements for medical school to pharmacy school, we'll see some differences. So it's really important to know what the general set of courses are for this, the type of health profession you're seeking. A list of these, of these general courses or the set, these sets of general courses are available on the pre-health webpage. The address of the pre-health webpage is available on the first slide and last slide of this presentation. In addition, your first and second year advisor can help you identify these sets of courses as well. Let's get a bit down, let's get more into the nitty gritty, however. So what does it take to get into health professional school? What does it take to get to med school, into dental school, into pharmacy school, to PA school? Well, first and foremost, almost everyone's gonna probably tell you grades are the most important. And almost every health professional school is gonna compute a cumulative GPA and a math and science GPA or a science GPA. So doing well in the sciences as well as all my other classes is really important. The test score, the MCAT for medicine, the DAT for dentistry, um, the OAT for pharmacy, PCAT for um, pharmacy, the OET for optometry, the GRE for many others. It's very important that health, that health professional students or pre-health professional students do their best or direct their efforts to preparing for these exams. The pre-health office can assist you um, in designing a study plan, uh, identifying resources for preparing, and uh, provide a range of other assistance with these standardized tests. And then beyond the numbers, research. Many health professional schools look at research as a beneficial activity. They like to see that among their candidates. At least many health professional schools do. Getting involved in research, however, more fundamentally enriches your college experience. As educators, we encourage everyone to get involved in research because most who do 
report a great deal of satisfaction with that experience. Clinical experiences, that can range from volunteering in a hospital, shadowing a healthcare provider, even earning some sort of certification like CNA or EMT, where you, you have earned a scope of care and can provide uh, medical care within, within your scope of certification. In fact, Loyola has an EMT course, and we also have LUC EMS, which is comprised of students who have their EMT certification and provide a volunteer emergency services within the scope of their certification for the entire Loyola community. Leadership roles, learning to work with others, learning to lead others. It's a great way um, the extracurricular opportunities at Loyola are a great way to develop these, these skills. And volunteering. Health professional schools are service orientated. The health professions are service professions. Almost every health professional school is going to want candidates to have a strong service ethic. So fortunately, Loyola has limitless opportunities to engage in service and to reflect on that service and to learn from it. Students who come out of Loyola who engage in service are typically very well suited for entering in the health professions due to their careful and thoughtful exploration of their service. Some specific programs. The Early Assurance Program. That is a, that is a, a program students between in the summer between their sophomore and junior year can apply for admission or conditional admission rather to the medical school, to Loyola's Medical School. More information about this program is available on the pre-health website. And again, the pre-health uh, website address is available on the first and last page of this presentation. Similarly, there is a dual acceptance program between Loyola and the Chicago College of Pharmacy at Midwestern University. Students can apply for this program during their senior year of high school. And if they didn't get accepted during that, that time or they did not apply for any reason, they can also reapply or apply for the first time after their freshman year at Loyola. The last program we're going to touch on quickly is the Pre-Health Professions Advisory Committee. It's a program that operates the semester before students apply to medical school, dental school, etc. Not only are the pre-health profession staff involved, but over 25, typically over 25 faculty advisors join this committee. So we can provide a very, a very um, small ratio of, of advisors to advisees and help students with their personal statements, help students prepare for their application to medical school in many, many different ways through advising and through structured workshops. There are academic and experiential requirements. It's among the larger committee processes of its kind in the country. And despite its large size, it has a very strong record of admission to both medical school and dental school over the years. So why Loyola? If you're looking for a school that has a strong science curriculum and provides a rich and well-rounded application to supplement that science education, if you're looking for a, a well-established and effective pre-health professions program, if you're looking for staff and faculty that are gonna challenge and support you, if you're looking for a beautiful campus, and if you're looking for an institution who have found ways to help students engage in the Chicago area and the world in limitless ways, but those are answers to, those are just some answers to why Lola. We would love to hear from you. Again, please feel free to call us. Please feel free to email us. Please check out the website. Miss Andrea Beaumont is the primary contact in the Pre-Health Professionals Program, and she will be del delighted to answer your questions. Thank you.